We're in Active Directory, Users and Computers in Windows Server 2016. I'm going to show you a trick on how you can edit multiple settings on a user's, uh, multiple users' accounts uh, in Active Directory. So let's go ahead and pick the Human Resources Organizational Unit, and we can see we have multiple users. So we can individually right-click and go to Properties and make a change. And let's just say, for instance, under Account, to uh, user must change password next logon, we change that to password never expires. However, if we want to do this for a lot of users, we can either do this through PowerShell or we can use a trick where we can select the users holding down the shift or the control key, either one, and we can select multiple users at once and we can right click on those users, go to properties, and now we see some shared uh, properties where we can change. So, for instance, if we go to account, we can go here to where it says password never expires. So first we will enable that option and then we will select that option. So there's two different boxes you have to check in order to get that to work. Otherwise, these options are grayed out and you can't click them. We can also have the accounts expire all at the same time. We can make any one of these changes where you see that there's a box here then, uh, that we can click. Then we can go in and make changes to those settings. Now, if we accidentally click on, say, a security group as, uh, as well as all these users and we right click and we go to properties, you see you won't see the same options. Same thing happens uh, if you select a computer and a user and go to properties. You won't see the same options. However, if we just select computers only, let's go ahead and do that and go to properties, then we also only see just these particular objects. However, if we select them again, we do have the option to do something such as enabling and disabling the accounts, adding to groups. So there are some things that we can do. We just can't do the same thing that we can do with users. So that's how we can edit multiple users all at once, specific properties in Active Directory in Windows Server 2016.